hi guys hi guys hi guys it's been so long since i did like a vlog um but how's everyone doing so this is a travel vlog i am going to kigali rwanda today um yes so my husband's on a work trip and i'm tagging along he left on sunday already today is tuesday i'm going it's just a really short trip um i'll be back on sunday so it's just about like four days or so um i don't think it's going to be well it's going to be fun i mean because you're just traveling is fun in and of itself but i don't think it's going to be one of those proper exploration type videos because it's a work week i'm working as well so i don't know how that's going to go so i just wanted to bring you guys in uh, my first is in the afternoon late afternoon this is the morning i'm just trying to pack quickly um i think the weather it's quite chilly in the morning like well like 19 degrees and then it gets warmer during the day and a bit more chilly in the evening so definitely more chilly than the lagos weather so yeah i'm not packing that much like i said it's mostly an indoor type vibe thing so um let me just show you guys the mess that i've made <laughs> trying to pack so guys can you see so i have this here and then i have like the stuff i want to pack just over there um i bought a few goodies from mango um because there's a dinner so i bought a dress and i just bought like a plain mango tea and then i have my coffee and a few snacks guys i don't travel without snacks especially if i'm going to a place where i haven't been before and i'm not sure what the food is like i need to be able to have some things um i have my coffee as well some chocolates some crackers my stevia sweetener some drinks and um, biscuits for my husband um guys i hate packing if there's one thing that i really hate it's packing i don't like packing that's a part of traveling i don't like packing and unpacking but everything else i like so this is quite difficult like i just feel like i just want my wardrobe to come with me i got this really 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 lovely um charles and keys purse that i really really like i really really like it guys look at my nails i like my nails i found a nail lady that doesn't discriminate against my short nails and knows how to really work with short nails so i'm quite happy about that so let me finish packing i'll see you guys guys i'm actually bad so i haven't vlogged since but i'm now at departure and well i got some kfc so i'll see you guys when i'm settled guys we are in kigali um i'll do it all soon but yes yesterday my battery was low got back was tired shot ate something and just slept but now it's the morning it's like to seven um i want to see if i might i might take a walk or like a jog but yeah let me just show you guys around um my side doesn't really show you the greatest view uh so yes this is this is kigali um there's construction work going on on the other side an expansion of the hotel i think but yes we're in kigali and guys the weather is beautiful this place is beautiful i love love it it's like look at the hue like this view is just really really nice um yes i love it i love the place i'll show you the room i'm at four points i'm at four points by Sheraton, and maris is just opposite there um but yeah let me show you guys the room quickly it's quite untidy but yeah so guys this is the top of the room so this is the balcony where i was the bed is not the biggest bed i think it's a double bed yeah i think she did a queen size bed see this fine man over here getting ready to jog i shall not be joining him <laughs> this is the i like the fact that there's a lot of space let me open it up like the space is a lot like, 
lots of storage space so that's one side this is the other side my fashionista husband has taken over mm, there's some more space here you have the drawer so just like a coffee table i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love then that's the fridge here so that's the mirror i'll show you guys the bathroom so here's the bathroom like a storage all the way down here It's so heavy, very, very heavy. So guys, I just had coffee. Um, it was really good. Downstairs, apparently, this is a popular fashion store, Missions Wonder. So it's just some nice paintings. I want to try and get to get more. This is really nice. I'm gonna see if I can get to get more. So guys, I walked for about 40 minutes, which I don't want to do again. So I'm going to try and find a bike. Apparently, there are no Ubers, but bikes are the preferred way. So I'll find one and let you guys know. That's the Kigali Convention Center, and this is the Kigali Heights Mall. Um, I want to see if I can get into the convention center, it's so pretty. A closer look, and then I'll be back. This is such a pretty building. So, the Kigali Convention Center is right there, it's linked to Radisson Blue, so that's like their big event center. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in, but I'm just going to walk and try. Like, let's see. <laughs> the center is so pretty. The convention center is so pretty. Yeah. Guys, just look at Kigali. Another thing I want to say is that Nigeria when, like when, like when are we going to be able to get to this point? Because <laughs> um, I haven't really been to African countries, I haven't had much to compare Nigeria with. But from what I hear and what I've seen here, we have a long way to go. Like, it's very important to also visit this country so you see that what's happening in your continent, not just going to like, you know, further continents and then judging based on, oh, those are developed countries. But going to countries that are also struggling with their economy and struggling with everything and understanding that, you know, um better it can be things can be better like see how the roads are so good here and it's just so peaceful everybody's like a nice standing in queues being respectful guys and you know they went through the whole you know the rwanda um the genocide and everything and they came out of it strong came out of it better they've learned from it you know they discuss these things they don't sweep it under the, the carpet you know they have centers that are just dedicated to it you know nigeria we had the 
we had my battery is low so i probably need to start going soon um nigeria we had the biafra war and nobody talks about it there's no sensitization that goes on about it there's no healing and all that so that's also very important for us to also um take into consideration you know you have to know where you're, go where you're coming from and how to heal from that to know where you're going so my two cents back to enjoy myself Okay. Do you like these songs? I like this one. This looks so good. I'll take this one. Yes. Guys, I'm at the mall. I'm at the mall. so hi guys hi guys um i'm back from you know my tour around the city it was really nice um i went to a cafe to have some coffee i went to their city center i also went to the kigali convention center and then from there i came back and i went to um the hotel opposite mine which is uh, marriott um just to chill out with some of my husband's um workmates that i hadn't seen then i came back and i did some work here's my laptop here's my laptop i did some work and then i got hungry so it's time for dinner so let me show you what i'm having this is what this is what i'm having i mean at first i asked for an egg bacon and um cheese roll um bun then i asked for a club sandwich so i don't now know if this is a club sandwich i doubt i doubt because that's a brioche bread and then i asked for some chips and then a coke zero i asked for ice lemon and some ketchup and i think they're bringing that, that now um so yes guys this is my meal and it looks good i'm going to kick um have that yeah so guys that's pretty much it for day one i'll vlog day two up until i leave as well and yeah i'm gonna eat i'm watching how to get away with murder yes i know i'm the late latest person in the world but <laughs> at least better late than ever is it me or most things are really popular i watch it later on when everybody has is done watching it like game of thrones i watch it at the end just because like i don't know sometimes i just don't catch on to the hype so fast it's not even because i'm trying to make a point it's just like i don't know when people are watching it and then all of a sudden it's finished and then i start watching it i watch an episode while everybody when it first comes out and i don't like it and then later when everyone sees it's good it's good it's good and then i join it and i like it so yes um i'll see you guys um i'm gonna have an early night because i didn't really have an early night when i came in yesterday and i woke up very early so peace out bye Hi guys, so welcome to day two of the Kigali um, vlog. Um, I'm really bad with vlogging and I woke up really late today. It's like two, three, but I'm about to set out. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just going to walk around and maybe this is the Kigali Museum. But I'll let you guys know. But I just want to let you guys to see my, you know, casual outfit of the day. My shorts, my bag, my trainers. Looking very touristy with my sheets. So I'll carry you guys along like yesterday. Bye.
guys i said let me update you guys today because i've been very bad but yeah um yesterday yesterday was sort of a flop um i just i wanted i slept really long and then i stepped out and then i had to do some work some work came in and by the time i was done it was just too late so i walked around to the other side of town you guys i'm like i mean like maybe it's like the more bougie part of town so i walked to the other side of town um and then i was also trying to locate a restaurant which i didn't end up eating at because by the time i just got there um i just wasn't really feeling the vibes of the place so i didn't i didn't eat there i didn't actually get it was at the top of a plaza i wasn't feeling the vibes of the plaza itself so i just left and went back and then i went for a games night um with my husband's colleagues i didn't stay long i wasn't just feeling the best so i went back and then um i went to an italian restaurant um the bread there was so good they mix mix like a cheese sauce for me so it was um olive oil balsamic vinegar salt pepper and then like um this powder cheddar cheese and then they gave me like different types of a selection of like fresh bread and then i had the pizza um the bread and the sauce was really good the pizza was rich but then the taste just wasn't doing it for me so i had half of it and then today the next day i ate the rest and it's so nice today like i don't know the cold it cold was just nicer or is it hunger i don't think i'm that hungry so yeah today i went to do my covid test um that was just stressful because i went all about um the place they had on their website was different asking so my hotel to look for the actual venue so i went and guys this pcr covid test that was my first time doing it when i was coming i did the antigen one and it was horrible because you know they put the thing down your mouth and then your nose was just like, ah kilo are you cleaning gutter but yes yeah, so i'm back i'm doing some work today there's a dinner my husband's office is having like a dinner so we're going to get dressed up and all that then tomorrow tomorrow i have a tour so that's why i'm going to see like the museums and all that i spoke to like um while i was trying to get find the location for my covid test i had a long conversation with my with the receptionist at the hotel so he wrote down a couple of places restaurants that i should visit um i don't i'm not really sure if i want to really do restaurants but he was like you need to try some of these places so i'm thinking maybe just maybe today i would i would try and go even though i don't want to eat so much because so that my dress looks nice i have two dress options one tight one and one free one so i might do it tomorrow before or after or i just might not because this is not like a really like a food holiday type vibe so yeah um that's basically much it i have to do work like i said i'm working on this trip so yeah um he said that i asked him about nightlife because i know some of you are party animals and you just want to know what's the nightlife here like because what i heard is that there's no nightlife but he said that there's actually a nightlife and that he just feels like when nigerians come at least nigerians that stay at the hotel that he meets um they're just here for like meetings they don't really get to explore even if they explore he feels like they don't explore in the night in the right way they don't take the local drinks they're just there sipping champagne champagne and like spraying money on ladies and then that's not how really how they party so when i told him that oh no nigerians really like to party he was like really are you sure so yeah i guess there's a nice life for those that are interested not really interested in night life per se so um yeah that's pretty much it i'll catch you guys later just vlogging on a trip thing cool easy it's not easy it's like when you just remember oh my god i haven't vlogged and then you now start vlogging but yeah we'll do better um also just in terms of like traveling and all that um so you guys if you know me you know that i've been trying to travel more traveling is like one of my biggest hobbies but life has happened in the past couple of years covid work and all that so i'm trying to do more so i have um i had three trips planned for this year so this is the first one um obviously i'll keep you updated on the other ones in a few months but yes i'm trying to do more of that and also trying to explore africa more this is the first african country i've been to i know yes everybody has been to ghana and all the likes but i haven't um i've done more of like european countries and all that so this is really good to be here i really um had a good time and um if you guys want me i can film like what what a trip to this place would cost um for like let's say one week or so uh, i can do that if everybody anyone is interested so do let me know if you're interested or i'll just film me any even if you're not interested and you have to watch it yeah but yeah i'll do that i'll i'll do that video if this is not a long vlog i'll add it at the end but most likely i'll do it um so yeah i'll keep you guys updated and uh, let me get back to work bye
was built to this incident. Um, most of the tall buildings, not all, most of the tall buildings you see in this town was built recently in time, five years. That's where we came from, from Mario. The reason why you see this empty place on your right is a property of an estate. So it is still under development. Wow.